Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. Have you ever worried about your local hard drive run out of space? Have you ever have questions about your cloud drives, how to manage them? In this video, I'm gonna show you a free solution to integrate your cloud drives to your local computer which you can directly open your files from your cloud drives to add it to save it without any synchronization, without using your browser to open it. That will expand your local hard drive space, also utilize all your cloud drives more efficiently. The software, the name is RayDrive. So now let's start it. There are many other similar softwares doing the same thing as Redrive doing, mounting the cloud drives to your local for you to use it more conveniently. So here is a comparison chart I found from NetDrive. So NetDrive has provided even much more features. There's a web drive, expand drive, mounting dock, cloud mounter, and ray drive so ray drive probably not the best solution in the market um, as you can see they are not providing many clients as other net drive doing so they even don't have mac client and for the function wise it's also it's not able to compete with net drive but the reason why i'm using ray drive here it's the most important part because it's free. So if you look at NetDrive, the free trial only seven days for a web drive. It's also you have to purchase the license for it. It's only for you to trial. Expand drive, you need to purchase um license for $49.95. Similar like uh, this one, you need the registration key. But Redrive is completely free if you look at their plans standard. It's free for use. You can mount eight drivers, which is usually more than enough for the people like me. Uh, they may not able to write most of uh, dri cloud drivers, but uh, for Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, that's more than enough for me to use. Also, if you have educational email address, so you can get a educational version for free, which can support most of um, cloud drivers to write on it. For the cloud monitors, also you need to pay for a personal license, $29.99. There's another one, Air Explorer, providing similar function, um, but uh, they only, uh, for per cloud, they only allow one account, it's free solution. So in that's reason why I'm picking Redrive for testing here. And uh, I think it's free solution, which is make the more sense for me to use here. The software itself is very simple to use and to install. You are able to get the document website and to see how to install and how to configure for it. Um, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstrate how to download and how to configure for a OneDrive and Google Drive to use. Just uh, go to one of the web downloading websites and then you should be able to get it downloaded in one or two minutes. After you download it, uh, you may need a .NET 4.5 supported. Um, if not having it, you need to download the .NET framework 4.5 first. Um, for my environment, I'm using uh, Windows 11. Uh, so I don't need to download uh, and install those pre requirements. Open file. So one thing I like is um, Ray Drive support multiple languages. As you can see, it's an international version, uh, basically supporting most of the popular languages here. For me, English is always our first one to choose. 
setup requires about 244 megabytes. You can change the folder to a different one, or you can keep the default, uh, agree the license terms and the conditions, and then you can just start to install this software to use. There's a prompt up to say if you want to install device software. Yeah, we trust this ray drive, so just go ahead to install it as well. So then in two minutes, ray drive has been successfully installed. The process is pretty simple, straightforward. You will get a shortcut on your desktop. Double click, you can open uh, GUI interface. The first time to open Redrive GUI interface, it may take a couple of seconds. After that done, you will get that notification text point to the Add button. That is asking you to add the new drive. You can use personal Google Drive, OneDrive, you can add those in. But the one thing I want to show you before that is settings. You do notice there's a cache folder here. So since we are installed our redrive on a C drive, by default, we're going to create in this cache drive. So sometimes if a program not running right, the cache drive may get in really large. So I would strongly suggest you to move this folder to a different partitions. For example, if you have D drive or some other drives, you can just move this one to, to a different drive just in case the cache took too many space on your C drive. For other settings, you can keep the same. You don't need to change anything, only this temporary folder you can move it to a different drive. After you made the settings, you may need to restart your redrive to get that settings taken into effect. So now let's start to connect to a couple of drives and testing the performance. I'm going to add one Google Drive and one OneDrive into the, my local test machine. So for the Google Drive, just Click the Google Drive, then it will prompt up to let you open a browser which you installed on your computer. In my case, it's Edge. You may using a different browser, but uh, basically, it's just asking you to log in to your Google account. Since I enable the two-step verification, I will get a verification for my login. So Redrive is going to have some access. So by default, it's going to be mounted to the Z drive, which is your last available drives. So now you can see Z drive has been mounted. So this is 15 gigabytes drive. And we are using almost uh, nine gigabytes, so left is almost six point seventy six gigabyte free. Uh, let's mount another one. So this time I'm gonna use in a business account, um, the OneDrive. So you're gonna see how easy you can get your cloud drives mounted to your local. Now, the access to OneDrive business account has been allowed and it has been mounted to one drive. As you can see, 
the OneDrive business has five terabytes. In this case, we successfully added both Google Drive and OneDrive into our local system. It is also very simple to disconnect to it and uh, delete the uh, connection. So what you just need to do is click the disconnect button. Once you disconnect it from your local system, it will disappear from your computer. The, low, the network drive will not be mounted and then you can delete it. In that way, you can easily delete any cloud drive from your local system. As I mentioned before, um, so you can easily open the files on your cloud drive directly without the synchronization, without the downloading to it, just like uh, you're using other normal files on your local drive. So you can double click to open a file and edit it and then save it to directly to your cloud drive. We also can listen to music. If you have videos, it's also be playable. I'm gonna try to download some files and see if I can get the full speed for my from my internet provider. I'm gonna find out the large files so I can download it. There's some videos here. Um to able to directly open it to play. You may need to cache it one or two seconds, but uh, you don't have to wait too long. It will be similar experience as you open it from your local drive. So I'm going to download the one file, which has uh, 167 megabytes. Um, I'm going to copy it to my desktop. At the same time, I want uh, to start my task manager. I want to see how fast it can go. So it can go high to more than 100 Mac BPS, which is um, exactly what I have. Um, so it's not bad, uh, up a couple of seconds. So I download 161 Mac bytes files from the cloud drive. That's pretty good speed to me. So again, um, the reason why I introduced this software is because it's really convenient for you to access your cloud drivers and if you have limited space on your local drive i believe this software can really help you to expand your storage space so i hope this video can bring some useful information to you and i hope you enjoyed it if you like my video please give me a thumb up and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it thank you for watching See you in my next episode.